Hey guys, what's up? It's me, JRPG Bro. We are playing more Persona 5 Royal here. We're down to just a little more than two weeks left until the cleanse. We got plenty of time though, 17 days. Don't worry about it. We're going to spend some time with Kasumi today and see what she's up to. Let's see if she's feeling as thirsty as Rise was in Persona 4, if you follow what I'm saying. I. Thou hast birthed a bond clad in the heart's strength. This union, born and embraced by will unyielding, shall become the balefire that lights thy path. Thou hast gained a glimpse of the faith's truth, granting thee further power to tread the abyss.
All right. So it looks like we actually hit rank 5 with Kasumi today, which kind of ranks up and finalizes her confidant arc, so we don't have to spend any more time with Kasumi, we can just flat out ignore her for the foreseeable future, one of the great, uh, great things about that is that we are able to do that at this point. Uh, and, and throughout the game, we will have like the confidants out here to still hang out with them uh, after we're maxed out with them. And yeah, you can still do that. There is something we can still do if we really want to. Uh, my point, though, is is we want to focus on maxing out the confidants that we haven't maxed out. Uh, if there's a personal favorite confidant of yours that you've already maxed out and you, know, you want to spend time with them, by all means, do that. Uh, but I still you know, recommend kind of putting them on the back burner temporarily speaking so that we can focus on doing all the other confidants. And I know that sounds kind of heartless to say that, but that you kind of have to go into this, uh, into the game with that kind of a mentality, being like, okay, so I know for a fact that I'm going to want to spend more time with, you know, Makoto than anyone else, but I can't right now because I have Kasumi, Ryuji, and, you know, on to work on as well. So it's kind of like you kind of have to make sacrifices. And I know it sounds stupid, but like, oh, this is video game characters, right? You know, who cares? Um, and these characters have great stories. They're all rich characters. But once you max out your confidant arc with them, uh, when you hang out with them, you don't really get any additional new information. The characters don't acknowledge if you're dating a particular character. Uh, those are just minor flaws in the game, and I, I, I would love for them to actually you know kind of fix in the future maybe in like six or seven if uh we get to that i know it's a hard thing to fix uh because coding a game is definitely not easy uh i did take some uh, computer programming courses and it's not easy at all and you're talking about a major game like this you know having you know a hundred hour game being kind of randomized dialogue for different things i know it, that sounds like i'm just like nitpicking here and i i kind of am but you know it is it is it is uh the actual fact here so we do have some nighttime confidence with both ohaya and shihaya here that we can actually focus on at this time and uh obviously we're gonna do one of them uh i prefer shihaya over ohaya ohaya really uh or goth chie as i should start referring to her as uh goth chie really doesn't have a lot of character depth she's actually one of the uh worst you know, confidants in my opinion in this game, and you can hate me down in the comments all you want. I don't hate her as a character, I'm just saying, like, her character, it's not really the best in the game. It's actually one of the weaker confidants uh, as, a, as a whole. Uh, but we are going to work on going through it because it, it, it is uh, something we have to go through. Uh, it's not a bad arc, it's just her character just really doesn't feel... That's like it really uh it really grows but we're actually not here to see hey. ohio we're actually here to talk to lala chan about working here part-time because if we work here part-time we'll be able to eventually get uh one of the requests that mishima sends us i'm not sure if mishima already sent us sent us this I mean, but we do have to work for lala chan at least twice uh particularly on sunday nights so we do have to do that before we get anything uh in regards to that like the target's identification
I probably shouldn't have read the text message with Sojuro there when he's feeding me. Hey. That being said, uh, we should go up back to, to our room after we eat and take a look at our uh, text message, see what we got here. I know it's from Takemi, so we are, should be able to rank up with her. If not rank up with her, we'll have like that weird, awkward kind of in-between um, social link event. I, I, I think actually that's not going to happen this time. I think it's actually going to rank up with her. I think we might have like a weird like in between with nine and ten. I don't know a hundred percent certainty. Uh, we are actually like at rank eight. I think we do have sixteen days, so maybe we could have her finish before we get to the next one. Here.
Anyway... So I think in my experience here in playing this game and, uh, you know, pretty much having already maxed out all the confidants and same thing with the, you know, it, it, I feel like a lot of the characters in this game, when you, when the girls like say, oh, I love you out of nowhere, like kind of out of nowhere, like, or why did you do this? Cause you have feelings for yourself. I like, expect you to like, you know, you end up rejecting them. It really does. Um, it, it feels weird to do so. Um, you know, I was never that person said, oh man. I'm so popular, all the girls like me. No, that was never the case. So like having all these girls out of nowhere kind of confessing that they love you, like in a weird way, and then you rejecting most of them. And most of them take it pretty well. There's like one or two that don't take it as well. Actually, there's one in particular that takes it the absolute worst. Um, but yeah, so far I think we've actually just rejected Takemi and uh, On at this point in the game. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, yes, there there is a, a particular character that we are going to romance, uh, and, and I'm not going to say who it is, but uh, people already know who it is, uh, just because they know. Uh, they know that I usually stick with the same person. Like Persona 4, uh, you know, I could go with Reese, Chie, Yukiko, you know, any one of those three. You know, uh, Persona 5, I have that one set, you know, quote-unquote waifu, we do that in air quotes, you know, that we stick with. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there, there was one in here that uh, tempted me to go differently, and, and like I said, I've played this like five, six times, and in five or six times, four out of the six times, uh, we date, we, we romance the same girl. So it's like everybody has that one particular character oh, in a game like that, you know, like The Witcher Three. It's like, well, you have either you know Triss or Yennefer, so like you're gonna be staunch for one or the other. And then, like, you know, your Mass Effect people, you know, oh, Team Liara or Team uh, Miranda or whatever, yeah. I think Persona is like one of the worst in terms of, you know, romance situations in video games. Like not worse as a, as a thing, I'm talking about worse as in it's a toxic fan base to an extent over certain girls.
Beginner to me. Hmm. Well, I guess you got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Grant that wish of yours. But you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. That right. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence. And as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu, with good prices for a punk like you. What do you say? Not bad, huh? You don't know what you're talking about. This is a great deal. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. Seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it! Become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the hanged man persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Oh. 
All right. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Hey! Later. So we finally made a deal with why Morgana can stop harassing us about the gun in the bag. It's going to be an interesting confidant arc. Uh, usually, uh, we could have started that confidant a lot earlier in the game, uh, especially in New Game Plus. But the thing is, is you want to make sure you have high enough guts. So we were kind of waiting until an appropriate time when we would probably would have the guts being high enough based on all the other tasks uh, that we could do at this moment in time. So now we are going to be able to embark on that. So we have to juggle at least three or four confidants at night, as well as several confidants during the day. And it's going to start getting a little crazy. It really is, uh, but we can actually spend some time with Yusuke, start getting him help help with, uh, so why don't we go hang out with Yusuke and see what's going on. He wants us to go to Madarame's residence. This isn't going to end well. Yes. Could this be? be off.
could this be? This is a problem. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm in your debt. Turn home. See you. And this is a great place for us to call it a break today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching our Let's Play for Persona 5 Royal. I've been that JRPG bro. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything particularly you want to see me play, let me know down in the comments section. Uh, I'll see you all next time. we got plenty more Persona 5 Royal coming your way. And uh, we're still waiting for the cleanse. So let's see what happens soon, right?